Sase Konala at Donald Secondary School in the Donald area of Estanga Watuuza. Yeah, largely farming community, you know, we make a lot of sugar here. So if it's on your table right now during breakfast, even the guys in the studio, they look off and they'll Oh, was it? But I've got a learner here who's got a question, hopefully for our teacher in the studio. Someone says, Hey, get off Facebook. Hi, Spa. Oh. Hey, she said hi, Spa. She knows me, Baba. Uba, Baba, Baba. Mandisa, game. All the way from Mandeni. Uh, yeah, Daniel Secondary, of course. Gupi, Gupi, the Mandeni. P, L, H, P, C. E, ma, che, che, ni, Island. Nyana, tiny nyana, gasebe. Of course, that's how we roll. Oh, and I'm seven, gasebe. So, what is your question for our teacher in the studio today? Guys, tell me, how does this proportionality theorem works? I really want to know. Tell me, hurry. Okay, guys, the question is, please explain how the proportionality theorem works. Now, before I even do this, remember, guys, this is for mathematics paper three if you're in grade 12. And if you're in grade 11, this is Euclidean geometry, which you're going to be dealing with in grade 12. So you may as well, you grade 11s, listen. And you grade 12s doing paper three, this is for you. Okay, this is something new for the future. But let's see, before we even start, I have something I need to tell you about ratios. Mm -hmm. Okay, now many students in Bui messed this up. I want you to look at the screen here quickly. If you've got, look at this here, you've got a line segment AB. Can you see that there? And I've broken it up into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. Now what we say, that could be 21 centimeters. Do you agree that's the length? Yeah. You're all happy, 21 centimeters. But here comes a big problem. Now check this out. If we say AC to CB is four to three, be very careful here. What does this mean, AC to CB? They're saying, that AC is four, but I want you to think of it in terms of parts. Okay, little segments. Okay, now watch this. If we carry on there, what does this give us? Three parts. Okay, now would you agree with me? Taboha, would you agree that four plus three does not equal 21? Yeah. Four plus three is? Seven. Seven. Yes, I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now careful because many students mess this up. Look at this. The length of AB is 21, but you've got four parts to three parts. AB does not equal seven. So what I'm gonna do is each of these parts are equal. Now I'm gonna illustrate them by K because we don't know the actual sizes of those things. You see this here, so we've got Ks. Now, would you agree with me that if you think about this carefully, AC would be four multiplied by K. Mm -hmm. Do you see? And CB is three multiplied by K. Okay, now hold on to this. What we do know though is four plus three is not 21, but four multiplied by something plus three multiplied by something would logically be 21. So what is that thing we're multiplying by? Check this out, very easy. Four sheep plus three sheep is seven sheep. Mm -hmm. So four K plus three K is seven K. So if you look at that, seven times three is 21. Oh. Okay, now that makes sense because listen, four times three is 12 and three times three is nine. And what's 12 plus nine 21. is 21. Do you agree, Emmanuel? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now this is the trick in this thing, watch it. So each of those little parts would be three centimeters. Now that makes perfect sense because you've got seven parts each made up of three centimeters gives you the 21. Okay, so AC is four times three, which is 12, and CB is three times three, which is nine. And that is very important. So remember, when you're dealing with ratios, always make sure that if you've got a ratio of four to three, when you talk of length, you go 4K and 3K. Okay, you're gonna see how this unfolds. Now look at this, AC to CB is 12 over nine. Come on, do you see that there? 12 over nine can simplify to four over three. Okay, you got it there. Now the proportionality theorem as the question stated is, what do we know? If we've got these lines being parallel, so if you go here, let's get a little pen. If these lines are parallel, Okay, immediately certain wonderful mathematics happens. Okay, we can say that the length of AD, I'm gonna actually get a color here, this is quite fun, watch it. The length of AD over DB is the length of AE over EC. And likewise, you can say the whole length of AB 
divided by the length of, of um, AD there is the same as the whole length of AC over AE. And so hold on to that. You can also say AB over DB. Look at that, the whole of this length here. If you look at it, the whole of AB over DB is the whole of that AC over EC there. You see that there? So that's a wonderful thing. So this is called what we call the proportionality theorem, guys, and it's important. Now let's have a look at an example. Watch this. Here's a triangle, and I'm going to give you AB. The length of AB is 28. Can you see that there? The length. DE is parallel to BC. Isn't that pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then also, AE to EC is 4 to 3. Now watch this. That's 4 to 3, which is 4 parts to 3 parts. Do you see there? So you must put the K on. And that gives you 7K. Are we in agreement? Okay. So 4K plus 3. Remember, it's 4 parts to 3 parts, which is 7 parts. But it's 7 times something. Okay. Now what we also know, if you think about it, if we want to find the length of BD. Look at that. There's the question mark. What is that length of BD? Now this is easy. Check this out. If I go here. I want BD. Okay. Now look at that BD. Can you see that, guys? Over 28. Look at that again. Can you see that? It's going to be, um, if we just take that back slowly. I love this graphic. Watch there again. BD over 28 is EC over 7K there. Now look at that. BD over the red BD over 28 is the 3K over the PK. Mm. <laughs> I called you okay. over the 7K. Okay. <laughs> so it's Lady 7K rather than Lady PK. Okay, you got it there. Now once we've got that, guys, it's simple. Remember the lines have got to be parallel and you can say BD the red over the blue. BD over 28 is CE over CA. Does that make sense to you there? Okay, so that's very, very important there. Now, once you've got that, it is so easy to work out the length of BD. But remember, if the ratio is four parts to three parts, you must put a little K on there because that indicates that the length is four times something and three times something. Okay, and there we've got it. So we can then say BD over 28 is 3K over 7K. The Ks cancel. And then if you look at this, what are we going to do? We're going to multiply both sides by the 28. And 3 over 7 times 28 gives you, what's that? 12 millimeters. Okay, which makes perfect sense there. So you see, so the ratios work. If you've got parallel lines, you can say that over that is this over this. Okay, very important. But it only works if you have a look at this, guys. Very, very important here. If you've got a triangle, watch this. The lines must be parallel. Then if you've got x over 2 and that's 3 over 4, or let's say that's going to be, let's make that 30 over 4. Then you remember you can say x over 2 is 30 over 4. Okay, that over that is that over that. But remember when you're dealing with ratios, don't forget to put the K on. This is so important. going to affect you grade 11s when you get to matric. Hey, show, show, I'm by Jean. Grand, bro, I'm a piece of life, bro. I can't live, I can't live. Hey, if it's a scale, why, why? Now, yeah, it's must be a level of metric. If it's, hey, there's nothing you can do. If it's, me, you concentrate, bro. I'm a piece of life, bro. I'm a piece of life. If it's, I'm a child, I'm a piece of life. 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 I show off it's our mina Mutobela and about spear about what I round in Jing to measure or panel, lot is bong or some panel about face. I like Tanella Fetton Quelling at Tanella about Tisha by inspiring Ninga and is a cool and I say Koyonkel and a pulling about in a conquology, plazi narrates a boy is in Tazim besides the Athena conquality Tanella was so grand. All right, that's all good. There's no more pulling in Tanel Second G. Pity for me, there was pulling when I was still here. What is your question for our teacher in the studio? Ish. Hey guys, what uh, is the midpoint theorem all about? Hey, I'm confused again. Plus, please do help, guys. Right, the question there is please explain how the midpoint theorem works. A very important thing for this year's grade 10s, but in matric this year you've got to know the midpoint theorem. And grade 11s this year you've got to know as well. Let's see how it works. It says the line passing through the midpoint of one side of a triangle 
parallel to another side bisects the third side and is equal to half the length of the side it is parallel oh. to. That sounds a bit like Jay-Z rapping. You know? <laughs> okay, let's get to the point here quickly. Listen, if you've got a triangle, if the length of AD, this AD is DB, and the line DE is parallel to BC, it simply means that AE is EC. And then, of course, the relationship between DE and BC is that DE is a half of BC. Okay, so that's an important little principle there. Okay, now here's an example quickly. You've got a triangle PQT and it's caught up inside this little circle here. We've got AO is parallel to QR. Can you see that? AO is parallel to QO, uh, QR. And then we've got PA is equal to AQ and PB is equal to BT. Now, Watch this, this is brilliant. We want to prove that QT, now let's get a color here, QT, see this QT here? That that line is parallel to AB. Now this is pretty straightforward, watch this. And Bui loves this. Um, PA is AQ, do you agree? Yeah. Okay. And at the same time, PB is BT. Yeah. Now if PA is AQ and PB is BT, guess what guys? AB is parallel to QT. Isn't it exciting? It is. <laughs> I see Tabocha loves this. It's called the <laughs> midpoint theorem. Okay, Emmanuel, check this out. O is, prove that O is the center of the circle if PR is a diameter. Now watch this. Nothing in it. In triangle PQR, that's that little triangle there. Watch here. Let me go here, guys. Can you see this triangle here? Mm -hmm. Now watch here. If in that triangle, what do we know? Look at this. We've got that PA is AQ, can you see that there? Uh -huh. PA is AQ. We also know that AO is parallel to QR. So what does that mean? It means that PO is OR. That is the midpoint theorem. Remember, that's all it is. There's nothing in it. And if, if O is the midpoint and PR is the diameter, then it's got to be the center. Do you see that there? Very, very critical. So the midpoint theorem says if you've got two sides of a triangle and you join those midpoints, wah, like that, okay, <laughs> then wah, wah, okay, equal wah, wah, okay, parallel. If that's 30, that's 60, nothing in the midpoint theorem. Okay, so don't forget to learn that, especially you grade 11s going into matric next year and you paper three students this year as well.